Look at that tooling, guys. I'm trying to get it to focus. <clears throat> Look at that stamping. Yeah, they, they do a really good job over there at Youngblood. All right, guys. So as you can see by the weird, weird <laughs> title of the video, Is Your Bible Sweating? So let me kind of explain what's going on. I woke up this morning. I uh, was sitting there reading out of my uh, ESV Heirloom Legacy Bible, and I went to reach to compare a translation, the translation of uh, the ESV to, toward, to the Darby, just to get the Darby's going to be more literal. Uh, so it's going to be, as far as word for word, it's going to be a little bit more accurate and, uh, you know, and all that. Plus, I can see they bracket the words that have been added, and it's not in the original text. So I went to reach for it, and I noticed something. If you can see this, let me zoom in for you. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that. Do you see that white, that white film, film? This white film in that area. Let me see if I can. I'm sure, I can get a better. Yeah, you can see that that white film compared to the rest. Yeah, there you go. So that white film is the natural oils. Let me go ahead and zoom back out. That is the natural oils from this goat skin, and that is a really, really good sign of just a top quality leather. So if your Bible's sweating, if you see a film that like a white um, substance come up from the leather, that is a sign of a very, very good uh, leather. And um, the only time you might not see that, and sometimes you still will, but most most uh, most of the time you won't see it, is like an, an ironed leather, like say an ironed goat skin or iron, say iron calf skin. <clears throat> most likely you won't see it, um, because when they iron out the Bible, of course, that's going to dry it out. And then um, they have to add other oils that are not from the leather. They're a different oil or treatment that are usually a, a, of a clear type substance or at least will end up soaking into the leather clear. Whereas the natural oils from the goat skin or calf skin or any kind of leather is going to come up at like a white substance. But that is a sign of a really good quality leather. So um, if that happens and and uh, and you don't know what to do, just take a little damp rag and just slightly go over it until that film goes away. Or you can do like I do and just leave it there and let the leather kind of re-soak it up as you use it. And your own hand oils kind of, you know, help the Bible. I would say this since I'm making this video, the best treatment you can do for your Bible is to use it. Because your the oils from your hands are far better than any of these uh, leather conditioners. Leather conditioners are good on furniture. They're good on you know car, uh, you know car leather. It's good on things like that, and satchels and certain things. But but the leather they use and the way they tan it, the way they use it for Bibles is somewhat different. Uh, and you uh, don't want to. I used to add. Every once in a while, if something's really dry, I just know the Bible's really dry. Sometimes I'll take a little bit of just natural olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, really good high quality stuff. I keep a little bottle of it. Every once in a while, I'll put a little bit of dab on there and kind of go over it if it's something that I know that it's just really dry. But the best thing you can do is not do that because then, uh, how can I say this? <clears throat> if you treat your Bible with leather treatment, and I had to learn the hard way in a few Bibles, and um, what happens is it, it kind of ends up adapting to that, kind of relies on it, and it'll actually dry out quicker, and you'd have to do that process a lot. And it, it could break up fibers. There's so many different leather treatments out there. Then later on they find out it breaks up fibers and and stuff like that. So the best thing you do as far as a, a book leather, like this goat skin, is just use it. Take it out and let your hand, the natural oils from your hand are really similar to, you know, uh, an animal hide. I mean, we are, in a sense, an animal, right? So, yeah. So the best thing you can do to treat your Bible is pick it up and use it. But uh, if your Bible's sweating, that's a good sign of a great quality leather that you that's that was used on your Bible. Till next time, good day. God bless.